Hello YouTube, uh, Gil here again. I uh, sorry, my real name. I don't think I've ever said that in the videos, but my name is Gil. And uh, today you're probably noticing how different my computer looks. I was bored earlier today, and I was like, you know what the heck? I'm gonna go out and change everything. So today I figured, you know, I'd show you how to do that. So there's three different things I'm gonna show you how to do. First is change icons on your computer. And I did that, and then I did Safari, and I did iTunes. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to change your dock. And the last thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to add a little, see that little power symbol to, that indicates which uh, applications are open? I'm going to show you how to do that as well. And it's very similar to changing your dock. So first of all, you're going to want to go, I'm going to have the links in the description. I'm going to go to panic.com and download Candy Bar. Now, once you download Candy Bar, you're going to need a icon pack. So, here's, I'm going to put this link as well. This is the one I'm using, Area 52. And um, you're going to download that. And after you do that, you're going to open up Candy Bar. And uh, let me drag this. Where did it go? Area 52. Okay. Okay. What you're going to do, I'm going to just put this. And because you're, once you download that, you just want to put that in a. You don't want to put this, the whatever folder you want to use. There's green and a blue theme, whichever one. You know, I don't care. Uh, then you're gonna go once you have Candy Bar open. You're gonna go File, Import Icons, and you go to your desktop. You're gonna find the blue, and you're gonna click, and you want to open all of them, or select all of them, so once you do it, click, you might need to click on another, and then hold Command A so it selects all, and you're going to click open. I'm not going to click open, because as you see, I already have, oops, I already have all of them. Now these two I just downloaded separately, you can use any PNG uh, picture, and um, to change your icon. What the heck? What? Oh man, I think I only have a Looks like it says I only have a 15 day trial. Dang it. Oh well. Okay. And secondly, what you're going to do is say I just want to change. And it says the name of it where it's supposed to go. Let's find one that I haven't already done. That will do burnable. And you're going to drag it onto the burnable. And you're and you can do that as many as you want before hitting apply. And you're gonna hit apply. And it's gonna make you type in your password. Do that. And it says it's gonna tell you to log out. Now I'm not gonna log out. I did this right before. This is my second time recording the video. Because I was doing the video and I actually clicked log out, so it shut down everything, so you're not watching. So I'm not gonna log out, but you're gonna need to, and you're just gonna log back in and it will be uh, at whatever icons you put it to. So that is Candy Bar, and you can do this with finding applica application icons as well, change your desktop, whatever. And that is all for Candy Bar. And there's the two. And then the second thing I'm just gonna show you is how to download. Uh, sorry. You guys, shut up. I don't care, oh my gosh. So the second time now you guys have ruined this, leave. Little siblings, oh my gosh. Welcome to my life. Anyways, okay, as I was saying, you're gonna download Leopard Docs, which I already have right here. And what you're gonna do after you download it, it's a very simple program. You're gonna go to Docs, and you're just gonna start looking through them, and you're just gonna download whatever one you want. And then once you do that, you're gonna open up. Oops, sorry. You're gonna open up Leopard Docs. You're gonna hit Browse. You're gonna find it and just click Choose, and you'll change my doc, and it will change it to whatever you picked. And then for the indicator. Um, you need to find one that says 
so-and-so indicator. Let's see if we can find one. I got the power indicator, which in my opinion is the coolest. Okay, here, power indicator, see here. You're just going to download and you can do the same thing, and it's not going to change this. So you'll have two things. Um, you'll just choose your uh, dock, like, color and stuff first, and then choose it, and then uh, change the dock, and then download the indicator and browse and find it, and then click change dock again, and it'll change both to what you want. And I'll have the link in the description for this. I highly recommend this if you're wanting to do this. This is by far amazing. <laughs> Um, yeah, I highly recommend this. And I'm gonna try something. Good. Let's see how much time I half hour. Right, I'm good. Um, what do you say to do? Okay, what I'm gonna do for iTunes is if you want to change everything back to normal, you have to go to Options, Show in Finder. Okay. You're gonna want to do get info. Click on the picture and hit backspace or delete. Um, or maybe not. Hmm. Not working for me. Hmm. All right. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. I'll figure that out and I'll make another video then, I guess. All right. You guys have a good day and I will be seeing you very shortly.